With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Evaluate integration a to b x square dx as the limit of the sum. Right now, what is the definition of limit of sum integration a to b or f x dx is always equals to your limit h tends to zero h multiplied by f of a plus f of a plus h plus f of a plus two h goes on till f of a plus n minus one h. Right, and here we know that your b minus a is equals to n into h. Right. In this formula, so this is the definition of the basically limit of the sum here. Now let us put this formula in the question which you are given, and the question is integration a to b x square dx being equals to limit h tends to zero multiplied by h. So now it's x square, so this will become your a square, right? Then this will become your a plus h square, a plus two h square, a plus three h whole square, right? And it goes on till a plus n minus one h whole square, right? So now let us open these brackets. So this will give you. Your limit h tends to zero h a square will remain a square. Opening the brackets, this will give you a square plus h square plus two a h. Similarly, opening this a square plus two h whole square is four h square plus two into a into two h will give you four a h plus a square plus three h whole square is Nine h square plus six a h goes on till a square plus n minus one whole square h square plus twice of a n minus one h, right? So after opening, we get this. So now the next step, your limit h tends to zero h. Here you can see that. I can write this a square a square a square a square a square as n a square, right? So n times of a square here. Then now I can take common from this h square, right? So as you can see here, you have h square. Okay. Then you have your four h square. Then you have your nine h square plus n minus one h square. So now let us see how can you write this taking h square common. So this will give you one, right? Plus four, plus nine, and it goes on till n minus one whole square, right? Similarly, taking common here two h, right? Taking common two h here. So you will get two a h here, right? So there will be one plus uh, here two four h from four h you will get two. Then from six a h you will get three, and it goes on till n minus one, right? And now this is basic sum formula here. Right here, this is your basic sum formula. So we are going to substitute that formula. So limit h tends to zero h n a square. Wait a second. Now we here we can do one more thing. Uh, here we know that your b minus a is equals to n into h. So from here we can calculate the formula for your n right which will be b minus a by h here 
सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सब्सटीट्यूट द वैल्यू ऑफ एन हेयर इन दिस स्टेप ओके सो नाउ लेट एस सब्सटीट्यूट द वैल्यू ऑफ एन हेयर सो दिस विल गिव यू एन इज इक्वल्स टू योर बी माइनस ए बाय एच राइट सो दिस विल गिव यू हेयर लिमिट एच टेंस टू जीरो सो दिस इज बी माइनस ए बाय एच ए स्क्वायर Now what I'm going to do is remove the brackets and multiply h also to this. So if it is multiplied by h, so this and this will cancel out, right? Plus similarly, this will give you h. This will be your n minus one, n minus two, right? And twice of n minus three. You can open the brackets like this. This is the formula, and the formula for this is n, right? Your n into n minus one by two, n minus one into n by two, right? This is the formula for this. Now let us substitute the formula here. Now the value for your n here is b minus a by h minus one. Then your b minus a by Again, your h by minus two, then your twice of b minus a h minus three, right? Plus, then this will give you twice of a h here multiplied by again substituting the formula here will give you b minus a by n h. B minus a by h. B by minus a by h minus one and this divided by two. So this and this will get cancelled out. So now further you will write this as your limit h tends to zero. Your b minus a a square. Plus h cube into b minus a minus a, taking LCM here. Then your b minus a minus two h. Then your twice of b minus a minus three h by h, right? Plus your a h square b minus a minus h by h. And your b minus a by h. So now, if you can see that your h, h, and h will cancel out by h cube, and your h into h will get cancelled by h square. So now, what are you left with? You can write this as your limit h tends to zero. Your b minus a a square plus one by six times of b minus A minus h, b minus a minus two h, and twice of b minus a minus three h, plus your a b minus a minus h and b minus a. Now limit is your h tends to zero. So when you substitute the value of your h as zero, so you will get b minus a a square here. Then twice of six b minus a uh, took to common. So b minus a b minus a. B minus a plus a times of what your b minus a whole square here, and this is your one by three here, right? So now further, this will give you b minus a by three, taking LCM here. So this will be your three a square, then your b minus a whole square plus thrice of a into b minus a. So I took the LCM here and took. B minus a by three, common. So now for the opening these brackets, so b minus a by three, and this will give you three a square plus b square plus a square plus three ab minus three a square. So this and this will get cancelled out. So you are left with b minus a by three b square plus a square plus three ab. So this multiplied by this is the factor of your b cube minus a cube by three. So this is your final answer. Thank you for class six to twelve, ITJ and NEET level. 
ट्रस्टेड बाई मोर देन फाइव करोड़ स्टूडेंट्स डाउनलोड डाउट एंड आप टूडे